Good morning children. Welcome to the English class. So we have seen a few exercises from the chapter The Four Dragons in our previous class. Today we'll see the rest of the exercise. Now let's first learn some grammar today. So we have already learned about the simple present tense and simple past tense. Today let's see the present continuous tense and the past continuous tense. So Look at these sentences given here. These are from your textbook. We are dying of hunger. They are helping us now. These two sentences are in the present continuous tense. So what is the present continuous tense? The present continuous tense is used to show an ongoing action happening right now. Like when you say, I am standing. It is an ongoing action that is happening right now. Are you watching TV? I hope you are clear with this concept. And the present continuous tense is also used to show something that will happen in the near future. Like when you say, I am meeting my friends after work. Is he coming tomorrow? So these are actions that will happen in the near future. It is not ongoing at the moment, but it is going to happen in the near future, very soon. So the present continuous tense can also be used in such cases. Now, the past continuous tense. Look at the sentences given here. The dragons were playing hide and seek when they noticed the people. The jade emperor was listening to music when the dragons went to talk to him. These sentences are in the past continuous tense. See, the dragons were playing when they were interrupted by seeing the people. So the moment they noticed the people, their play got interrupted. And the emperor was listening to the music of the fairies and when they went there, it was interrupted. The jade emperor was interrupted. So the past continuous tense is used to show an ongoing past action was happening at a specific moment of interruption or that two ongoing actions were happening at the same time. Let me make that more clear to you with examples. Where you study when she called? Where you study? It means an ongoing past action. When she called, a question is being asked. So here, the moment of interruption can be taken as the calling. Where you study when she called and interrupted you. Yesterday at this time, I was sitting at my desk at work. So here, there is a reference to the point of the action, yesterday. And you can consider this point to the time as the interruption here. So, I hope you are clear with the concept of past continuous tense as well. Now, all of you please open your English reader and turn to page number 60. You can see the grammar session there and below that you can see this table. Look at the table below. Read about the present and past continuous tense. Let's read the definition. When we talk about something that is happening right now, we use the which tense? Present continuous tense. And there is an example sentence given there. It is raining. It is an ongoing action happening right now. Now, the next definition is when we want to talk about something that was happening in the past at the same time as something else, we use the which tense? Past continuous tense. And the example sentence given there is the people were dying of hunger because there was no rain. And below that, you can see two sentences. Now read these two sentences, write them in the correct space in the table above. The dragons were playing hide and seek. The jade emperor is listening to the fairy's music. So you have to identify which sentence belongs to the present continuous form and which sentence belongs to the past continuous form. Then after identifying, you have to write the correct sentence in the spaces provided here. Please do this as an activity now. Please pause the video, finish it and come back. Hope you are done with that. Now let's discuss the answer. So, which is the correct sentence which is in present continuous form? 
the jade emperor is listening to the fairy's music and which is the past continuous sentence the dragons were playing hide and seek hope you are clear with this now let's see what is the formula for writing a sentence in present continuous and past continuous form so for the present continuous tense the formula is the subject plus r or is or r plus ing form of the verb plus object and for the past continuous tense the formula is subject plus was or where plus the ing form of the verb plus the object let's see examples for the present continuous tense subject i am writing i am writing a note he is playing cricket they are going to the shop now let's see the examples for past continuous tense i was dancing they were cooking a meal hope you are clear with this now let's move on to the next page look at the two pictures below the picture on the left is from yesterday and the picture on the right is from today in fact it's happening now with your partner describe the two pictures you could use these hints what were the people doing yesterday they were praying because they were starving what are they doing today today they are dancing and singing now these are two pictures from the story you have to observe the pictures carefully and you have to describe each of these now let's try describing the picture on the left in the picture on the left the people were praying for rain because they were starving people were crying the dragons were playing hide and seek in the sky the dragons were looking down on the people who were crying for rain did you notice all these sentences are in the past continuous form now let's try to describe the picture on the right so it shows a picture that is happening right now so can you describe the picture the dragons are spraying water towards the sky the rain is falling the river and rice fields are filling up with water the people are rejoicing so all these sentences point to an ongoing action that is happening right now so all these sentences are in present continuous form i hope now you are clear with the present continuous and past continuous tenses now let's move on to the next page page number 62 the writing session and this is about an eye witness account so who is an eye witness so an eye witness is a person who sees something and can give a good description about it and what do you mean by account account means a description so eye witness account means a description given by an eye witness so imagine you were one of the people on earth who survived the drought with your elbow partner discuss these questions how do you feel what did you think about dragons before they helped you what would have happened if the dragons had not helped what would you like to say to the dragons what do you think about the jade emperor and what do you think about the dragons now so in this writing session you are asked to imagine that you were one of the people who were crying on the earth when the dragons saw them so you are asked to imagine how would you have felt and what would you have felt when you first saw the dragons and what would have happened if the dragons hadn't helped and such occasions so imagine all these and you have to write an account as an eye witness of the drought that was going on there now use your ideas to write an account of what had happened on earth before the dragons helped so you can write this eyewitness account in your notebook a sample is given below let me read this sample to you one day i was traveling in our car with mom she was driving the car and i was in the passenger seat we were waiting for the traffic signal to turn green 
there was a two-wheeler just next to us with two women on it. Suddenly, a young boy came running from the other side of the road, snatched the purse of the woman sitting behind the driver and ran away. He was gone within a few seconds before anyone could realize what had happened. When the women started looking for the boy, it was too late. He was nowhere to be found. So this is one sample eyewitness account given here about a boy who saw this incident and is giving a good description about it. So you can write the writing exercise. You can write the eyewitness account based on the instruction given in the question in your notebook. The next session is my word bag. Complete these words from the story. A few words are given there with some missing letters. You have to find the correct words from the story and fill up these blanks. So you can do this writing and my word bank as activities for the day. Once you're done with that, please do take a picture and send us to teams. So that's all for today, children. We'll meet in the next class with a new chapter. Until then, bye.